actually already have a presentation about this. Travelers, I believe we're on the same wavelength. Oh my God. So since you asked, yes, I do believe that it's very possible that the traveler could be the heavenly principles. Let me explain. What's my favorite word and one of the most complicated things to explain in Genshin? The Samsara Cycle. Samsara Cycle is a continuous cycle of life, death, and rebirth. In Genshin, we know there have been at least four Samsara Cycles, where in the fourth Samsara Cycle, our current Traveler is the fourth Descender. Meaning that, in addition to our lovely Traveler, whichever one you choose, there are also three other Descenders. The first Descender that ever came to Devat was the Primordial One. And well, we know how that went. The second Descender was the second who came, very amply named, and yeah, we, we also know how that went. There have been many assumptions that the Descenders have been different people, but what if they're not different people? What if they're the same people, just in different samsara cycles? So personally, I think it's very possible that the Heavenly Principles could be the Traveler in one of their first samsara cycles, something happened and it turned them into the heavenly principles. Now here's where it gets interesting. The second who came, as we know, fought the primordial one. So again, it could be that our sibling is the second who came, but if we're operating that the descender is actually the same in every single samsara cycle, then it's also possible that the second who came, also the traveler. I know we're getting crazy crazy, but we always get crazy crazy and then it kind of starts to make sense. So just stay with me. I think that if the Traveler is the Heavenly Principle, something happened during that Samsara cycle where they lost complete and total faith in the people of Tevat and the world that was created and they decided that they were going to take over it so that they could control everything. The second who came didn't have that trauma and wanted to take down the totalitarian regime that either their past self or their sibling created. I know you see a picture of Paimon, don't worry, we're getting there. In the beginning of the game, our lovely friend, the sustainer of Heavenly Principles, showed up with her angry squares and was like, you're separated, your powers are sealed, I'm the sustainer, welcome to Tibet. Maybe Paimon did go through this world with us before. Maybe Paimon is the sustainer of Heavenly Principles, and the sustainer works with the Heavenly Principles as their guide and were the Traveler and Paimon in a previous Samsara cycle. And then during the fourth cycle, the one that we're in now, the one where we have both the Traveler and the sibling alive at the same time with the Gnosis, with the Heavenly Principles, they decide to send down Paimon to try and put the Traveler on the correct path to becoming the Heavenly Principles. Following this logic, it's possible, and this is one of the theories I've said before, that the Gnosis could either be the Traveler or the Sibling in a previous Samsara cycle. Maybe the Gnosis, instead of being the Traveler, is actually the Sibling. The Sibling died and became the Gnosis. It was a part of efforts to take down the Primordial One. They put their power, their being, into a sort of weapon that could be used against Celestia, against the Primordial One. Not to mention, Heavenly Principles has been asleep for like 500 years. Maybe one of the reasons that they're sleeping is because a part of their consciousness is going through the world right now. Or maybe they're not sleeping at all. Maybe only one heavenly principles, one being, one traveler, one descender can exist at a time. So the being that is the heavenly principles is now represented as the traveler. Could be why the traveler is the one that has the ability to change fate. It could be why our sibling is doing everything they can to take down the heavenly principles. Yes, I have like five other theories in this presentation and you'll see the rest of them in another theory video. That's it. I'm also on Twitch and Discord if you want to hear any other theories or talk about them with me.